Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to The Voice Love Company. My name is Christy Bovey. I'm a mindset coach, a voice intuitive. I help people find their voice and make their sound no matter who they are, no matter what they do. And today I'm listening to a double feature of falling in reverse. The drug in me is you and the drug in me is reimagined. Um, this was supposed to be a live stream and I've been having technical difficulties all morning. So I apologize for those of you who got up to get into the live chat today. I was really looking forward to uh, getting some time with you because I missed last week, but I am going to go ahead and go through with this as a recording and see if we can get this to work. Um, the uh, Falling in Reverse, I've seen one of their songs. I think it was, I am not a vampire. I'm not a vampire. I think is what it was. Um, and somebody mentioned, I was going to have all of this. I had it all set up, <laughs> but I'm afraid to touch anything right now. One of you mentioned it would be cool to do a double feature of this song. I thought that's kind of a neat idea. So just to remind myself, Falling in Reverse is an American rock band formed in 2008 by lead vocalist, Ronnie Radke. And I do remember, I loved Ronnie's voice. Um, Let's see. The band has un band has undergone numerous lineup changes, with Radke being the only remaining original member. They come from Las Vegas, Nevada, and the genres they list here on Wikipedia are post-hardcore, metalcore, rap, rap metal, pop punk, hard rock, and electronica. So, very interesting. I am very interested to see if this is going to work this morning, if we're going to be able to actually get everything working. And so I'm going to go ahead and put this on. One of the things that wasn't working this morning was my headphones, which that's a new one. Um, but let's see, we're going to get into this right away. Let's see if we have, oh good, we have sound. All right, here we go. Upon my door the other day I opened it to find that staring in my face The feel of mortal stock and still reverberates Everywhere I go I drag this coffin just in case This is fun. Kind of reminds me of it's got a, it's got like a an '80s vibe to it. I don't know. This is like something I would have loved to have listened to back in the day when I was a young whippersnapper. Uh, it's fun. It reminds. What does it remind me of? I'm trying to think. I wonder if they have um, something that is. I always love to know what their um, who their influences were musically, and. I don't know if there's anything easily found here. This is why I'm wishing that you were along the, on this ride with me. I'm so sorry. And especially to those of you who got up, you're um, in my time zones here in the United States. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I really am. Um, it's so um, fun to listen to to them. And the lyrics are kind of dark, but I remember that from um, I'm Not a Vampire also. So this is going to be interesting, too, to hear how they reimagined this song as well. But it's kind of got a classic rock sense to it. Um, I'm almost, for some reason, I want to say like The Clash, but I, I don't know if that's really a good, um, you know, apples to apples comparison necessarily there's just something about it that just reminds me it gives me that nostalgic feeling so anyway that's just how it's hitting me let's keep going here we go Okay, 
there because I want to get in. This is just a fun video too. Um, yeah, it's nice. It, this is a this is a nice song to listen to. I like it. I think again because it's it's just it's reminding me of another another era, another time. And I noticed that this song was uh, it's like thirteen years old, maybe. Yeah, a twenty eleven studio album, "The Drug in Me Is You." This is the title track. Uh, yeah, very cool. Very cool. I'm a little flustered right now, guys, because I've been through technology issues. I do apologize. I'm probably not totally on my game here. Oh, anyway, I was so looking forward to like hanging with you. Just know if you are watching this on the replay, which everyone is, uh, <laughs> I do try to go live as often as possible. I had to miss last weekend. And I do apologize for that as well. I uh, don't, I really want to try and get a video, one video out every week. I'm coming up on almost 400 videos. And I don't know if that's like a actual total because I have had some things blocked. I've had to take some videos down over the years. Um, I feel like maybe either it's more than 400, but the count on YouTube right now, it's coming up. I think this, it was 397. So this will be 398 today. And I do want to celebrate the 400th video. If it's not blocked, <laughs> you never know. You never know in this game. So stick with me. And we're also uh, less than 2,000 subscribers away from 100,000 subscribers, which is just hard to believe. So if you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. We do try to have our uh, act together around here. Um, and so I do apologize for the tech issues, but subscribe like put a thumbs up it really helps the channel i appreciate it so much okay getting back in here we go i got these questions always running through my head so many things that i would like to understand if we are born to die and we all die to live then what's the point of living life if it just contradicts <sighs> laugh off the darkness as it's trying to pull me down Okay, I'm going to get in for this guitar solo cleanly. I'm also noticing just that it's so, so 80s, like the uh, the girls in the sexy police outfits. <laughs> I mean, you just kind of have to wonder, are we still doing this? You know, uh, uh, it, so much has happened in the world. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's really it's interesting because it's something you don't. You don't see these themes very much, at least in the European um, metal bands that I've been watching for the past five years. Uh, everything is very uh, classy. Like I feel like the, especially like the you know the female fronted metal bands. There's just they're like they're queens, right? They are just literally royalty and treated as such, uh, and they dress, you know definitely to enhance their femininity for sure but um this is just so quintessentially 80s this is pre uh me too <laughs> right you know i'm just i'm looking at this just thinking oh my word this is so funny i'm thinking to um who who was the guy who did addicted to love and he had all the female uh, band members and you know uh their slick back hair I think that's what it was. Um, I want to say Peter Gabriel, but that's not right, is it? I can't remember. Anyway, um, yeah, it's just funny. It's just funny to me. Okay, we gotta we gotta get moving here because I know we've got two songs to get through, the, and this is gonna be so interesting again to hear the reimagined version. So let's uh, let's do this. I, I just had to say something. <laughs> I was having you know flashbacks to to some of like the old MTV, which is that was. 
what I cut my teeth on, so to speak, right? I'm not, um, yeah, just as far as watching, watching the original MTV um, with all the, those original videos. It's just, it's, it's reminding me of all of that. Here we go. gotta stop i gotta stop this is fun it's a lark right i also remember it's very rare that i've heard many songs with profanity in them but i do remember i'm not a vampire had it as well so <laughs> it's funny right it's like uh they're on brand they're on brand and i think i'm not a vampire was kind of like you know definitely a little bit of objectification of women in that as well so you know, this is like the, this is the classic, what people think about metal, rock, heavy music, right? And it's the reason why I went into uh, listening to these things, turning my voice teaching channel into more of a reaction channel, thinking, um, oh, I know everything about, you know, this and having my preconceived notions. This is what I thought it was, right? And um, I've just been so wrong about all of that. It's been very fascinating to learn that it's so much more. I was just thinking, I was telling someone this week how impressed I've been about the um, the metal community, the metal musician community, and seeing how they collaborate, how they support one another, how they're family oriented. Um, I just have been so impressed by that. And not I'm not throwing shade at Ronnie and, and his bandmates at all, but this is just so classic. It's exactly what you think, you know, <laughs> what I've thought. And um, so I'd love to know more about about him personally. Like I've really gotten invested in the European metal uh, community, learning more about them, following them, et cetera. And I know nothing about these guys. So please forgive me if I'm throwing shade. I don't mean to. It's just how it's hitting me. So let's get in here. He got away. <laughs> fun. Oh my gosh, that actually was a really fun song. I liked it. Interesting. Okay, so now let's go to the reimagined version. Let me remove this from the studio and add the next one. Let's see. I will tell you, this is going way faster than if I had all of you with me because I'd be talking to you. Ooh. Now I noticed already when I got the thumbnail that with the piano, it's going to be a different vibe. I heard a knock upon my door the other day. I opened it to find that staring in my face. The feel of mortal stalking still reverberates. Everywhere I go, I drag this coffin. Just in case. Ah, love his voice. So pretty. My body's trembling, and shivers down my spine. Adrenaline kicks and shifts into overdrive. Your secrets keep you sick, your lies keep you alive. Snake eyes every single time you roll with crooked eyes. I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down The kind of dark that haunts a hundred-year-old house I wrestle with my thoughts 
Okay, I've got to stop. I'm so sorry. I thought I would maybe be able to get through this section, but it is so beautiful. I'm, I'm going to go back to where he kind of gets into this little section here. Um, I love being able to hear the voice more clearly. You can tell he's an amazing singer. And the other one, but this is just... And I remember this from I'm Not a Vampire. Was that a reimagined version too? I'm trying to remember. Um, I just love being able to actually hear him with just a very simple instrumentation. That's just for me as a voice teacher, I just enjoy that. Um, he's a great singer. I love his the texture he gets on his voice and the clarity he has. Um, all the way through, you know, his vocals, it's just uh, his, his whole voice is one unit. It's just really fun to hear that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. I'm like choking on my own tongue. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's just really interesting to, to hear, uh, he, I love the instrumentation, the cello, the, um, the piano, beautiful it's really cool but you also can hear the the lyrics as well and they are definitely dark i like that line about the darkness haunting a hundred year old house i don't know it's very poetic so i'm excited to go back and and uh, listen to this again you can really really take it in a little better which i like although i love the last one right so here we go Dies. I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down The kind of dark that haunts a hundred year old house I wrestle with my thoughts, I shook the hand of doubt Running from my past, I'm praying feet Don't fail me now I lost my goddamn mind it happens all the time I can't believe I'm actually meant to be here Trying to consume The drug in me is you Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to go back and get the little interlude here. So pretty. It's like I don't want to stop because I'm loving it. It's gorgeous. Wow. I, again, you can really hear the poetry of the lyric. It's really nice. Um, there's so many, so many lines in this. You're just like, oh, it's so clever. It really is really fascinating and good writing, really good um really good poetry. I'm really enjoying that. And it's interesting too, the the dichotomy, is that the right word? <clears throat> the difference between the women, how they're portrayed in the first video and how they're portrayed in this one. The, the girls who are dancing around, I'm assuming she's the dead girlfriend or whatever, you know, it's kind of got this Halloweenish kind of Halloweenish, Halloweenish um, kind of uh, vibe, right? But it's interesting. They're so totally different from the girls that's in the sexy police costumes who are dancing right around. It's, you know, they're just, they're more normal women's bodies, right? And they're not being objectified. It's just like they're very, they're like uh, ghostly almost, which I think is probably what they're supposed to be. Um but it's just, it's it's beautiful. It really is interesting. And um, maybe this shows, you know, the passage of time. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm probably philosophizing way too hard on this. But I just think it's, it's worth mentioning. Because it's quite pronounced, the difference, right? Let's get back in. Here we go. Can't you see? Mm. Love his voice. Oh, so nice. I've got these questions always running through my head So many things that I would like to understand If we are born to die, 
and we all died to live Then what's the point of living life if it just contradicts I felt the darkness as it tried to pull me down The kind of dark that haunts a hundred year old house I wrestled with my thoughts, I shook the hand of doubt So satisfying. I'm going to take it back because something I love that he does, I'm remembering this from the other video I watched, that singing into, the clear singing into the the textured singing, almost into that, uh, the uh, growl, growling, you know, the death growlish kind of, he's right on the edge and he's just so great at this. It's so um, satisfying to hear. And this uh the chord structure of this version also is so satisfying so you have the tension of him getting into this next chorus and the chorus chord change it comes and you're just like oh it's so nice so let's uh let's listen again here here we go if we are born to die and we all die to live then of what's lyrics. the point of living life if it just contradicts i felt the dark as it tried to pull me down The kind of dark that haunts a hundred year old house I wrestled with my thoughts, I shook the hand of doubt Running from my past, I'm praying feet Don't fail me mm. I've lost my goddamn mind It happens all the time stop this is like so it's a difficult song to find a good stopping place the dancing is really beautiful i love it it's so interesting because yeah just the difference between the last video and this one i i just think it's it's really beautiful it's he's creating he that the last one was art too right but it's just a different a different kind of art that's happening here and i'm just saying i appreciate that I really do. I think it's just lovely. Okay, I'm gonna get back in here. The yeah, the way he goes from the the heavy vocals to the clean, um, ooh, he's so good at that. And it's not something I'd personally do or have felt ever in my own body. So I'm just like, how does this happen? It's so amazing. I'm hearing it in other vocalists that we listen to all the time here as well. Um, but he, I just love his tone quality. Just amazing. What a great singer. Incredible. Okay, let's get back in here. I'm not sure where we are. To be stop i'm so sorry i'm gonna go back i noticed my time when we get into this next section beautiful i just feel like the whole thing is so uh you know what was it's also interesting like the last video it's just fun it's a lark like the the way they lit it everything is just like uh it's just kind of a, a romp right you're just you're you're having so much fun this literally the way it's filmed the lighting the snow falling, everything's very darkly lit. It definitely highlights the um, the the lyric for sure. It's an, it's incredible. So, wow, uh, 
I just it's interesting, you know, the the cinematography of it can actually enhance uh enhance the the content, right? And definitely that's what's happening here. So very impressive. It's just so interesting the difference between the first one and this one. Thank you again. Who was it that told me to do a double feature? I'm so sorry. I meant to have your your name ready and with everything happening, trying to get this video up, it's just been crazy. So thank you though, really good suggestion. You can leave me a suggestion as well in the comment section of this video or any video that you're watching. I always love hearing from you. I don't have a, have time now to answer every every single one. I try to put a heart by it if I, if I get a chance to sit down and actually look at comments, but I do look at them for suggestions on what you'd like to see next. So. Give me a give me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, let's get back in. Gotta stop. Woo! Yeah, this is the picture I took, I think, I, when I was going through the thumbnails. I totally forgot about it until just now. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. This was like this a really dynamic picture. I was like, okay, I'm gonna take that one for the thumbnail. His voice. Stop right now. Like literally, it's just so much fun to hear a singer like this. All the tone qualities. It's like they've got a palette of colors and they just, he's just a master painter with the tone qualities he's got uh, on his palette. Beautiful. And it's so, in, again, because we can really hear him. Uh, we know he can do the, you know, the really loud with the whole band and all of that behind him. But wow, 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 this, what a great, what a great voice. It's just so satisfying to listen to him. So now we're gonna hear him singing with the heavy vocals, right? Uh, let's get into that. Here we go. that that's a moment like don't you just feel like that some days <laughs> oh my gosh I gotta go back and listen to this section again because it's just so the whole thing is so satisfying <laughs> he's verbalizing how I feel some days right I'm just barely holding it together uh, and then there's just this release Somebody, one of you sent me, I think it was Sean Murphy from South Africa, sent me a video, which I really want to do a reaction to. It's not music, but it talks about why heavy music, why heavy metal is um, like scientifically, somebody's actually studied why it is so helpful um, for your brain, for your mental health. It's fascinating, fascinating. We need to get into that because that is, I was just like, this makes so much sense to me. Why the metal community are such healthy, well-adjusted, kind, nice people. 
okay? Because they have this beautiful outlet for their emotions and their minds. And it's, yeah, there's something to it. Someone's actually studied it. So it's very cool. Okay, let's get in. Here we go. Can't you was intense, amazing, so satisfying to hear. I love both of them and how much fun to see the the artistic growth in one vocalist over time. I, that's one of the things I appreciate the most, I think, about being able to see the then and the now. Um, it's just very fascinating, very fascinating on multiple levels. Wow. Thank you guys so much for uh, making the suggestion. I appreciate it. Thank you for spending this time with me. If you were part of trying to be part of the live stream for this, thank you for trying. And I'm going to get my gear in order here. I think things are finally kind of starting to fizzle out and I need to do some replacement on some pieces. So this is a really good reminder for me to do that. But I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in your little corner of the world. Somewhere, somebody is praying for you to show up with the exact gifts and skills and light that you bring. So keep showing up and remember how very much you are loved today. Until next time.